Hey guys, uh, welcome to Wednesday with Ting. This is Transpoc. Um, it's actually Monday night, but I have to be at the airport in like a few hours for my flight. So yeah, I thought I would try to make this video and maybe edit it before I leave and maybe upload it too. Um, so I don't miss out on this week again. Yeah, I've been up really early today and like been running around trying to get stuff done for the trip. So I apologize if I look tired and uninterested. I just want to like warn you guys maybe this week might be the last week in a while just because I'm not sure of the Wi-Fi accessibility I'm gonna have in Taiwan and also I'm not sure about the privacy issue if I'll be able to talk freely and stuff. I apologize if I don't upload videos for like a week or two um, but I am thinking of you guys um, and missing my transport folks. So this week is we're talking about Pride and the Village. There is three Prides in Montreal. There is Pride, there is Diversity, and then there's Perversity. Uh, I don't really, I'm not really sure the difference between Pride and Diversity is. They're both like pretty mainstream and like you know, big corporations and a lot of gay white men dancing as opposed to Perversity, which was founded um, a few years ago. I don't know the exact history, but um, it's more like grassroots and underground and more radical and more political, which I think is pretty cool. I've been going to the parade for the last few years. I don't really enjoy it. I don't really know if I support it, but... I go because my friends go and it's always nice to see to bump into people because I feel like Pride is the one day where every gay person you know is there <laughs> and you bump into them somehow so that's always fun. This year I went to Pride, I met up with um, a, a friend of mine, um, some of you might know him, his name is Chase, he, he's from another channel called FDM Fantastic. If you're watching Chase, hello baby. We watched the parade and um, it was like a bit after halfway the trans group, the local trans group here um, was walking and they recognized Chase and we both had our shirts off in like solidarity just for that little portion because the sun was really strong that day and we didn't want like our chest to be bear in the sun because we both just had surgery not too long ago so then they were like come you guys should walk with us so we actually walked with them that was my first time being topless um in public and it wasn't just like the public like taking out the trash public or my balcony public or the beach public but it was like a fucking parade people were looking people were taking pictures and videos and this old man came up to me and he was like, can I hug you? And then we hugged and it was weird. I was a little s scared and skeptical about it at first just because I didn't want my parents to see or like their, their friends to see and take pictures or something. You know, you, you never know who's at a parade. And, um, but you know, as I looked around, I realized that I was the only person of color in the trans group and there wasn't many people of color in the whole parade so I kind of felt like it was my duty or something to uh, the rest of the trans the rest of people of color to like take off my shirt and show people that there are Asian people who are trans or something. I don't really know what my train of thought was, but I just thought that it would have been good for people to see me as trans and Asian and, you know, visibility is education, I guess, um, I've heard somewhere. I noticed that a lot of Asian people were staring at me. Uh, maybe it was all in my head, but they definitely gave me the, you know, second look. It's really weird because there was only like four trans guys in like the whole parade or something and I'm just wondering where are all the trans guys, you know? Like there are so many trans women but there wasn't any trans guys. 
And Chase and I weren't even supposed to be in the parade, so... I just wish that there would be more visibility, I guess. I mean, not every trans person identifies with the queer community, but I do. And a part of me feels really sad that, you know, if I'm walking down the street with my girlfriend, you know, I'm not, I'm not necessarily seen as queer anymore, but that's another topic, I guess. So after the parade, we went in the village. I've been in the village after transitioning, and I really don't feel like I fit in anymore in the village, just because there are gay people there are gay men, and then there are gay women, and then there are bisexual men and women. And there's not even there's not really any trans people there. And I don't really feel like I fit in, or if I have a group there or something. When I was identifying as a girl, I would go to the village to try to find a place where I would belong. But now, it's like I don't feel like I fit in at all. And I don't feel like I fit in in the heterosexual world either. So I guess I'm just wondering where I belong and if I would belong with trans folks only. I mean, why, I don't see why that would happen because we're all people. Oh, I'm really tired. I'm like rambling for no reason. So I think my wish for the trans community is that there was more support and more visibility. But then on the other hand, I understand that some people want to be stealth. So I guess visibility and support. Um, in Phoenix's video, I think he said that he doesn't feel like he fits in in, the, in Pride because trans people don't really exist in Pride. It's mostly for like gay men. There's not really anything geared towards trans people, so then I feel like they would just fall through the cracks and then none of us really show up and then some of us will feel alone and then there is no support. I mean, the online community is pretty great for supporting trans folks because, you know, we're everywhere and you could easily find each other, but I guess it would be cool to be active in your own community as well if you're okay about being out as trans. Anyways, um, I should try to get some sleep. I will update you guys on my trip. Um, I think I might post videos on my personal channel just because I don't want to like take over this channel about boring Taiwan stuff. Um, anyways, so thanks for watching. Um, have a great week. Enjoy yourselves. Peace out.